In this session, we're going to show you a little bit about uh, endpoints and uh, creating endpoint uh, positions and uh, just points basically. So those are if you're just creating one point at a certain place, uh, this is what you will use. So if you come over here all the way to the top left and click on create point, you're going to get this in the ribbon box. You're going to get an X, Y and Z axis. So you can state exactly where your point you want your point to end up. You can click over here on fast point and do it like we did it before and select it really quickly. Uh, type it in basically really quickly, separated by commas. You can also specify the midpoint or any intersection that you would like for that point to appear in on a certain line. So for example, right now, if I just want an endpoint uh, right here, for example, I just created an endpoint, a, a point right at you know that spot of the line. Okay, so this is just basically setting up your endpoint wherever you like it to be. So I come over here and say create. I'm gonna come over here and say create point endpoints. Okay, so this is going to give me an endpoint at every single edge of a line. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I created endpoints on all around of the line or points. Okay, so then or point positions. If you come over here again and say create point segments. Okay, now segments, what it does is either you can, you got to tell it either one or the other. Um, you can tell it either the distance you want each point to be from each other. So if I select on uh, if I type in, like, say I want the lines to be 0.1 inches from each other, and then click on enter, and then select this line. It's going to create um, lot, uh, it's points over here. Every one is 0.1 from each other. Now, it's automatically going to give me that there's 40 lines, 40, end up, uh, 40 points end up on this line. If I want to change that, well, I can only change one or the other. So if I change the segments, if I type in 20, for example, you're going to see the number of uh, the distance between each other has almost doubled a little bit more than doubled because that's how many now it can fit in that line You know, so it just depends on the length of the line and how many you can fit in there is how you, you would do it. So I don't know it depends on which one is more important for you either the number of segments on that line the number of points or the distance between each point Okay, click on okay and then if you go over here to create point um, to create point nodes, this is more used whenever you are you have a um, uh, more like a spline selected and you want your uh, points uh, in different areas of that spline. You can also use create point small arcs, and that one is more uh, whenever you're using arcs and circles as well. And um, that's it. This concludes our session for the creating points. Now, one big thing that I tell you uh, right now that we might use later on in this tutorial is using points to set up a different place uh, where a, a drill can reach. So basically I can set down a point at like an X, Y and Z axis. And then later on, I can specify that I want my drill to drill up to that point. That's one example where points would be uh, helpful. You know, another point is that you want something, uh, another um, way the points are uh, helpful is that you want to create a different point at a, at a midpoint at a whatever. So you can snap, and create a line or a circle or anything later on from that one point, you know, so that's usually after you draw a line or anything like that, then you would start drawing by drawing your points. There's a lot, a lot of uh, different um, benefits from using the point system. Now, uh, personally, I don't use it very much. Uh, you know, there's different ways you can do your sketch in geometry, but, um, you know, everybody gets comfortable in their own ways of doing their sketch and uh, gets used to different, different ways of finishing their geometry. Okay, and this concludes our session for the uh, creating point position.